Hey, good morning. Welcome home to Mailer's Landing. Getting some garden chores out of the way today. I have some stuff to clean. I have all these pretty babies to take care of in the greenhouse this morning. And uh, job number one today, I've got whoo, all these bits and pieces just need a wash. And uh, so Lib's going to bring the hose out and I'm going to get that stuff spread out, give them a wash so that the next time I'm ready to use them, they are all set and I don't have to fuss about with last year's dirt. So let's get on that. This is going to take a little while. I started a lot of things this year, so I have a lot of little black plastic bits and pieces that need to be hosed down. If there was any mantra for the last couple of weeks, it's been respect your nonsense. And I've been repeating that to myself over and over again just to kind of make sure I'm still doing things 100%, take care of my tools, put things away, all that stuff. I'm a little bit of a reckless kind of person, so sometimes I forget to do that, those things. And, you know, I, I opened the dishwasher, although the dishes are still in the sink waiting to go into the dishwasher and I've moved on to go check the mail. That, that can be me. So handling that stuff in the moment seems to be helping a little bit. I'm gonna get that all spread out and start hosing things down and uh, see on the other side of that. It's a lot of bits and pieces. Um, when I was pulling the stuff out of the greenhouse from last, from this season to get it all cleaned up, I also found stuff from last year. Yay! So that's all gonna be out there um, drying in the sun, hopefully not too much wind. Nothing garbage scattering in the prediction for today. So I'm gonna leave those out there and in the meanwhile, I'm gonna get this garden taken care of. Oh, oh, let me show you my peas. So they are just coming along like champs and um, I was down here watering them this morning and I was like, whoa, I took way too much straw off when I took a bunch of straw off and I forgot to put it back on. So it's not going to get a whole lot of benefit of the straw if it's not in the straw. And I've got all these beautiful brassicas that I put in few days ago I want to get them a little wet I may put some hay down around them just to mulch them in keep them uh, nice and moist so everything does what it's supposed to do Straight up, let's talk about why this garden looks like a hot mess right now. <laughs> well, part of it, easy. You know, it's early. It's just today, the 2nd of May. Ha! Huh? So there's a lot that hasn't gone in yet. This coming weekend, we'll start hardening off the tomatoes and the cucumbers, get them ready to go out. I'm just realizing right now, I wanted to put the cucumbers up on the trellis. And I've got the peas there, so I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that. I may try and plant them inwards from the wires on the trellis a little bit and train them up until they catch on and start growing. We'll have to... Logistics. We will work on logistics. <laughs> 
And there are other things going on here. You'll notice there's a ton of dandelions. And Bill is horrified. Everybody's going to be looking at his yard and going, oh my god, the dandelions. But the truth of the matter is we're letting them grow out this year a little bit. Um, Lib and I did a pass on them last weekend and cooked up a batch of dandelion jelly, which is totally delicious and fun and at the same time my friend Rush was asking people you know where's got good dandelions right now because they've got a great project in mind so I can't wait to find out Rush is coming over tomorrow but also you see there's straw in the places where I planted now and uh, you can see over here Looking at the garden, it's like a big still life, you know, freshly amended garden bed with dandelions and straw. <laughs> now, though, we're making stuff with dandelion business aside. I'm just sort of clearing it as I planted. Um, that compost that came out of the back, it's super rich with volunteers and dandelions and all kinds of stuff coming up. So as I plant, I'm going to be clearing that up. Do it once. I, that, that's how I feel about it. I'm going to do it once and then it'll be good. I mulched in with straw, the stuff that I've planted for now. Um, I don't know if we're gonna wind up putting straw on the whole garden. Plan was, Bill and Lib took down a bunch of trees in the back end of this, which is all woods and where they're working on getting it trenched and so that we can put in new trees and plants and get the drainage sorted back there. It's, it's amazing what they've done. Um, it used to be just really muddy swamp, but now it's nice. We've got a trail going, a little creek going. It's really, really cute. It is just, it is just cute as a button. So the plan was to rent a wood chipper and just empty all of that nonsense onto the garden beds and use that as mulch this year instead of buying a big hump of mulch that's going to sit in the driveway for let's be honest, for weeks while we get it sorted and figure out what we're doing. Last year we got a big load of it and it sat in the driveway for probably a month, six weeks while we distributed it. And it was great having it there, don't get me wrong, but it was a big mountain of mulch in the driveway. <laughs> so we were hoping this year to, to just chip our own. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but we haven't been able to rent a wood chipper. I guess they're in really high demand right now and they're hard to get a hold of. So um, as soon as we can rent a wood chipper, we're gonna do that. In the meanwhile, I've got the straw down. That'll help keep the moisture in and hopefully keep me from having to water, you know, twice as much. Wasn't a big fan of mulch when I came into this whole gardening game. Um, thought it was just for pretties, you know, gosh, okay, so the whole garden can look uniform, I guess. It, it felt frivolous, it felt a little spendy, but Bill loves it, so I was like, all right, let's put some mulch down, sure. Um, and oh my goodness, between how well it controls the weeds and how we had to water probably half as much as we had the year before, I'm all in. I'm a convert. I want to keep these babies covered, um, keep the mulch around them. TLDR, um, as soon as we get the wood chipper, great, but in the meanwhile, they've got the straw down on them and everything's protected. So you know the joke about one day builds, like one day builds, spoiler, it's never a one day build. I'm approaching the garden like that and I'm okay with it, you know. I just don't feel the need to rush. I've got time. I've got time. I've got a whole season here to play. So little by little, as stuff gets hardened off, we'll bring it out. Um, I have ditched my on paper garden plan for the year, putting stuff out the way it feels good. Um, the only thing that I'm really being picky about are keeping the shaded things shaded and trying to put them under the trellis over here. So don't, don't shove. Don't shove. There's, there's no reason. You know, I feel like life isn't necessarily supposed to be difficult all the damn time. So it'll come together like a nice jigsaw puzzle at the end. And uh, can't wait to find out what it looks like. Thank you for hanging out with me in the garden this morning. I'll catch you up soon. Take care.